Acquisitions, more often than not, can take various creative and imaginative forms. Let's go through one form of acquisitions which have been popular in the last few decades which is reverse takeover. A reverse takeover, or RTO, is a process whereby private companies can become publicly traded companies. Without going through an initial public offering or IPO, this has been a popular method of listing in this recent few years. Through a vehicle known as Special Purpose Acquisition Company, aka SPECs. To begin the process, a private company will have to buy enough shares to control a publicly traded company. The private company's shareholder then exchanges its shares in the private company for shares in the public company. At this point, the private company has effectively become a publicly traded company. An RTO is also sometimes referred to as a reverse merger or a reverse IPO. So, why take RTO route instead of going for direct listing? By engaging in an RTO, a private company can shift its operations into the shell of the public entity with relative ease, all while avoiding the costs, regulatory requirements, and time constraints associated with an IPO, while a traditional IPO may require months or years to complete. An RTO may be completed in just weeks, while not a requirement of an RTO. The name of the publicly traded company involved is often changed as part of the process. For example, the computer company Dell completed a reverse takeover of VMware tracking stock in December 2018 and returned to being a publicly traded company. It also changed its name to Dell Technologies.